Keep breathing. Hi. <laughs> uh, um, my name is Nancy Stark Smith, and I'm at the Bates Dance Festival. And we are about to do our first embodied activity of the Meta Academy project. And this is a great experiment. And thank you all for taking the time to be part of it with us. So um, this is going to be about 10 or 15 minutes. And I hope you have a place to lie down uh, comfortably and um, some paper and a pen or two that you like to write with. Um, we're going to basically be making what I call hieroglyphs. Um, it's a sort of dance in translation practice um, that I've been enjoying for years and a kind of writing of the from the body. Um, so let's see, what else do I need to say? Oh, why don't we take a moment before we start that and just do as we do in the underscore and arrive for a moment. And maybe we can do that by closing our eyes, but you don't really have to close your eyes. Just settle for a second. the activity that brought you to this moment drop away, synchronize with your self, your presence, breath. You wait, settle to wherever you are supported. Ears open. also into body time so you can feel your sensations your attention can be in your body feeling the little sensations as textures just being present and available So we'll carry that with us and in fact maybe can do a little of this every time we meet for our embodied practices and activities. So maybe now you can, I'm going to do it with you, um, to go to the floor with your paper and your pens. Oh, I should move this out of the way maybe. <laughs> Your, I feel like it's like a bit of a cooking, uh, you know, one of those cooking shows or something <laughs> where you put your things in readiness for cooking. So just lie down for a moment and just relax and breathe. Let your weight fall to the earth. Letting gravity have you today right now. So nice thinking about other people in different places, hearing this and doing this together. Getting let it, again, letting anything drop away that you don't need right now in your mind or body. So any thoughts just kind of float by like little clouds until the sky is clear. Maybe you can feel little places in the body that were kind of holding on, holding you up, that now can let go. 
as you feel the floor where you are, what's under you, and even what's under that, meaning the earth, letting your mass connect and fall towards the mass of the earth. Feeling the support from the floor and the earth under you and radiating support through your mass. Deep breaths can come any time keeping the chest relaxed and available for those fuller inhalations. A sense of spreading out physically and in time. Hearing the sounds in the room you're in, maybe even outside also little textures in the air helping to locate you in time and in space as you relax even more every moment. <sighs> Whenever you're ready, with your eyes still closed, to so just find your pen and your paper. You can keep the pen off the paper for a moment and just rest your hand on the paper and relax again. Hmm. And when you're ready, you can just put the point of the pen on the paper maybe to one side or the other if you can feel that edge of the paper. Let it stay there for a moment, almost just as an extension of your body through your hand, through the pen, to the tip of the pen. And then as you go across the paper, just to sort of graph in a continuous line A little bit of the sense of almost like an EKG. The kind of energy you feel in your body till you get to the other side of the page. Make sure your arm is comfortable and things are at the right distance so you don't have to crimp anything. Maybe take a moment to rest again. Do another one when you're ready. Putting the tip down, connecting in your body and just letting it go across the page. Maybe try one third one. And in between, remember to just relax, stay in your body, notice sensation. So coming from the body to the tip of the pen, across the page.
take a nice breath and an exhalation. Could be audible if you like. So we're going to make a bit of a transition here to again extend our sense of being in the body. You can take your time with this. You can move the paper out of the way for the moment so you have room to stretch a little bit. <sighs> Breathe and maybe roll to one side or another. And arrive into a little bit of movement and extending into the environment around you. Your eyes might start to open, extending into the room, but they can open and close. Stay connected to the streaming of vitality and energy inside the body as it extends out. Maybe rolling onto one side to come up comfortably to sitting. Coming over to your paper and taking a look at what you made. Kind of reading it to yourself. You might even turn it upside down and see if it how that feels. You could look at it from different angles. Kind of follow it a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> so then take another page. Uh, that's kind of cool. If you had a kind of pen that if you stayed in one place for a long time it went through, that could be another kind of marking of time. But find a clean page. And this time, in fact, I'd rather that you not look at what I'm doing <laughs> so that you're going to be making your own. So instead of a continuous line, um, we're going to start somewhere and allow a bit of body energy to move on the page, kind of in, in an area, and then take the pen off so that rather than continuous across the page, there are individual units of movement, you could say and then go to the next spot and try to make a continuous path whether it's left to right, right to left, <laughs> I just did that backwards, up to down, down to up, but not all around making a kind of drawing so there's a kind of sequence for you. So start when you're ready to just drop the pen down, connect from your body and make a move. Keep breathing. And keep making, I call these little glyphs, and so just make your own glyph, glyph, glyph. an extension of the energy moving in your body that comes out into the space of the page. change your pen if you're wanting something else or you can experiment with different ways. And speeds. You can pause.
pause every now and then to again just sort of let your weight fall, let the support rise, extend through the body. It's almost a little conversation with yourself as you go from glyph to glyph. So it's not so much thinking about it as reconnecting to the body and extending out into the page and moving. Maybe when you finish a page full, you can pause. And, you know, and put your pen down and take a moment to look at what you wrote. You might have your favorite or something about the, the movement of that just feels balanced or unbalanced, whatever you, you like, or amusing or confusing or... <laughs> And often, um, when I've been doing this with groups, another next thing might be for us to share them with each other and to pass them around and see other people's languages, what they made, and then reading those and sort of putting little dots or um, something by them, the ones that you particularly resonate with. Um, and then a next step could also be to have dialogues where you exchange messages back and respond to each other. So one thing we were thinking was that perhaps within this Meta Academy and trying to extend our presence and our activity, embodied activities um, into the virtual space, that you could try a number of different things. And I think Rachel and Marlon ha will post this and maybe some other instructions for uh, how to proceed, but you could take a picture of your glyphs um, or scan them and post them and maybe s you could look at each other's and make something with it and um, I'll be eager to see what happens next and I think that we can leave it there. So thank you and see you next time.